pregnant. Are you seeing that? So if you do see me on the tube, get the fuck up and give me a seat. <laughs> and I will. I'm going to Edinburgh next month. I am quite heavily pregnant now, and I'll be going to Edinburgh next month to do what we was called in the business is cutting it fine. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but then you the stand I'm working in called me today, and they're quite worried about it. They're like, do you have any special technical requirements? Yeah, seat. <laughs> Give me some warm towels. Midwife. But I'll be fine, that'll be fine. And uh, so, and this is my, my third child, I've got two already, so I'm not too worried about it. And uh, my, um, <laughs> my other two, I have my other two with my ex-husband, and they're quite smart, so if this one turns out to be a thicky, we'll know who to blame. <laughs> um, and my little boy, you don't, tell, you don't tell anyone you're pregnant until like 12 weeks. And my little boy found out quite early, I came out of the shower, and he's six, and he went, Mummy, what's going on? You've got a fat tummy and you do sit-ups. So, right, well, um, Mommy's going to have a baby, but we can't tell anyone about it. We keep it a secret until 12 weeks. And he went, and when's the baby coming? And I said, September. And he went, that's an awful big secret to keep until September. So, but he's managed to keep it in now. I think a few other people might notice. But um, I do, um, yeah, he, like, the weird thing is about being pregnant now, like, so it's, all, the, all the tests have changed. I had this one recently where they, they, they check everything there. They check baby's lungs, they check baby's heart. They check your cervix. Gasps. <laughs> Don't be frightened, we've all got one. All those ladies have one. And they whack this microphone up there and they listen to your cervix to find out how, how healthy it is. And this is how my cervix sounds. <laughs> and I'm like a really fucking angry cat. <laughs> and a few weeks later, I'm having a conversation with my boyfriend. I say conversation, I mean fight. We're having a fight. And my boyfriend turns to me and goes, Oh, shut up, you sound just like your cervix. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it's a lie. But yeah, so yeah, and I've got and the thing is my show's about flashbacks and I'm talking about growing up. And I am um, I became a, a woman quite early. I was eleven and my tits popped out. Terrifying. I was still playing with Barbies and starting to look like one. It was horrifying. I was thirteen years old and I had the body of your average Edinburgh sixteen year old only without the pregnancy stretch marks. <laughs> it's funny, my little girl, she's growing up now too, she's nine, and she starts with, we, I take her shopping to Peacocks, because there's a nice thing in Peacocks, because the clothes that we buy are probably made by kids the same age as her. <laughs> so that's got quite a nice, quite a nice thing going on there. And she picked up this pair of pants and it said on the back of it, Angel. I was like, you're not fucking having them, put them down. And then the next thing she picked up was said on the front of it, can't wait to be famous. I said, you're not putting that on. You're sending out the wrong message. And she said, what message am I sending out? I said, you're not, I'm not dressing you as pedo bait. I can't do that. The last one she picked up was, don't handle what you can't afford. <laughs> what, 20 years in the slammer? And she's obsessed with Cheryl Cole. She fucking loves Cheryl Cole, who I can't stand. I don't get Cheryl's call. She enters a competition to get into a band, gets into a band, marries a footballer, is surprised when he cheats on her. Nation sweetheart. What the fuck? <laughs> I just don't get a... My hair's got its mojo back. No, Cheryl, you're wearing the hair of a blind Indian child. <laughs> if my daughter grows up and she wants to be Cheryl Cole, I'll shoot her in the face. <laughs> Look, at horse. Look what you made mummy do. <laughs> I've gone all dark and I'm getting up with your lovely. I've been Wendy Wilson. Good night. Woo!